welcome to school. Today, we decided to come all the way to San Marcos. So we're gonna walk around campus and I'm gonna be pointing out some buildings and certain fun facts in case anybody decides to come to the school and can't actually come onto campus to take a campus tour. Okay, so starting off over here is, like it says, University Commons. It's just a bunch of offices. Um, and down there is the store, like the university store where you can buy sweaters, shirts, and whatnot. Um, this is a little courtyard that people chill at and do some homework, take a nap in between classes, whatever you need. Um, that is a coffee stand. It actually has really, really good coffee. Um, this is Science Hall behind it. This is Science Hall 1 because there are two. Over here is Academic Hall. Um, this is where a lot of the GEs are, so like general education. Um, I had a handful of classes here my freshman year. The clock tower. And this is one of the really great views of the school um, looking down these stairs. Nickname for the school is Cal State Stairmaster because we have so many freaking stairs. <laughs> and over on this side is Cravern Hall, is a bunch of offices and like admin buildings. So let's go down these stairs. <sighs> Wait a minute. Academic Hall is weird because if you're looking at this side you're like oh it's only two stories but then you're like oh wait it's three stories it's actually four there is one under here that you can't see that would be my biggest complaint about the architecture of this school is that one building looks like it has two floors but it really has four floors and when you come out on the first floor of one building, you're on the third floor of another, and it's like playing a Tetris. We are inside Academic Hall, and we're just gonna go through it to get to Palm Court down this way. Oh, it's closed though, what the heck? They must have an event going on, but we're gonna get as close as we can. Oh, I guess it was like a beer festival. That's cool. Anyways, this is Palm Court because of all the palms. Um, and I think it's really pretty. I don't usually hang out here, but I walk by it on my way to classes over there in that building, which is Mark Stein or Mark Stein, however you pronounce it. It's one of the newer buildings. It's really pretty. It has a lot of um, like math and sciences, um, second language classes. I've had like four classes in that building and I really, really like it. Anyways, this is University Hall. Um, we are going under it right now. This hall has a lot of science. Nursing um, is also in this building. It is one of the older buildings and it has a really nice view of the suburbs over there. Um, and this weird thing that has nothing underneath it. This is the front of University Hall which is that building right there, and that's Cavern Hall, also infamous for its spiral, and if you stand in the middle of it, right in the center of it, you will hear your echo, and it's pretty, pretty cool. So please serenade us if you have a pretty voice. And this is the main entrance to the school. Welcome to San Marcos posters everywhere, and our flags, school flag, USA. California. That's my boyfriend right there. Woohoo! This is one of the nicer views of the campus. Ooh, I hear music. Are we allowed? I don't know. I don't know if we're allowed on here right now because of all the beer stuff. This makes me so happy. Oh, the campus is so different with all this going on. Anyways, real quick, that over there is the library. It is really, 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 really big. It's five floors, one of them is underground. We call it like the dungeon or, or the underground, whatever. People have different names for it. We were able to get a little bit closer to the library, so that's it. Nothing too special, but it has a bunch of windows on every side of it. So if you like studying with a view. 
this is the back side of University Hall and more beer stuff going on. Um, down there where all those tents are is like a big grass field. Um, people use it for like uh, frisbee, what is it? What's it called? The frisbee? Ultimate frisbee. Ultimate frisbee. And I usually like to walk up this way because I avoid lots of foot traffic and I think it has a very pretty view of the whole school. Um, those buildings over there are the University Student Union buildings. Um, over there on the right is actually the Student Union. That over there is like the food court. Um, that's basically it. In between them is like an auditorium type of thing. Um, there's a bunch of grass and you can sit down and they have like movie nights and I think it's really, really cool. I haven't been to one, but it does get pretty lit. This is a really nice view of campus. I love walking this way. It's, it's really cute. I just wanna say one of the best things about this campus is our sunset views. I know there's a bunch of stuff in the way right now, but you know, we have some of the prettiest sunsets with great views. So if anything, come for the sunsets. <laughs> and this building over here in front of us is the arts building. Um, I haven't had a lecture or a class in this building yet. Um, I'm not sure if I have one this coming semester, but they have really big lecture halls. They can fit like 150, 200 people. I try to stay away from like big classes because I like more intimate environment. That's a bunch of porta potties. The glass building is the student union. They have another cafe there and it actually has really, really good coffee. Also on that floor, there is a, like a games room and like a convenience store. So I tend to get food from there like sandwiches, mac and cheese, um, pizzas that they have. They have a Jamba juice there too. It's really nice, very convenient. Somebody pulled up. Anyways, okay, so now over here, this is my favorite building because it's one of the newer ones and it's where I have my poli sci classes. Yeah, you can go up there. And I am a political science major, so of course I love those classes. We are going down some of the millions of stairs in this school. <laughs> um, over there is Science Hall 2. Make sure that when you see on your schedule it says Science Hall, you know which one it is because the walk between those two halls is like 10 minutes apart. So you can be really late to your classes if you are at the wrong hall. And like I said, this is my favorite building. This is just the side of it. The front is a lot prettier. The Social and Behavioral Sciences Building, SBS for short. It is. I think it's so pretty. And I love the succulents and cactuses that they put in front. Um, and most importantly, it is right across from the parking structure where I always park. So that makes my walk really, really convenient. The school itself is like kind of small, but kind of big because everything is spaced out. We don't have like a lot of sports. So if you want to come to a school for its sports, do not pick San Marcos. Oh my God, I totally forgot the word, but it has only been dubbed a uh, NCAA Division II school for a year. Our sports are not that great. Um, this is that we are walking on is the bridge to get from the main part of campus to the parking structure. It has, <laughs> it has six floors. This bridge is super, super wobbly. Right now it's actually not shaking at all. Is it really? Yeah, it's so wobbly. I always think there's an earthquake going on, but then I remember that it just shakes. But first week of classes is going to be super, super packed. Um, that's one of the uh, bad stuff about going to a commuter school. You have to take parking into consideration um, because there's not always going to be parking. So right now we're going to go down the elevator back over there to the center of campus um, and show you one of our infamous statues of Cesar Chavez. The elevators go pretty fast when there's no one else in it. If you get a cramped elevator, just take the stairs. Um, I promise you it's so much faster. People are just lazy and I do include myself. And we're here. 
and this is the first floor parking this is as empty as it ever will be unless you have a monday morning class or a friday afternoon class then it's going to be super dead um right here we are walking under the student health center um we do have i believe one or two doctors on campus certified nurses there is a clinic as far as i believe i actually haven't been here which is a good thing um they have a bunch of resources if you think that you're gonna need lots of medical attention or anything of the sort definitely check out the website it is really helpful like i said more stairs csu stairmaster it's not a joke Ta -da. we got thrown around a lot in the ocean so our feet hurt um down that way across the street is the sports center they there's also a gym that i never used no and this is the outside of the usu i think it's really pretty with like the metals and the glass and stuff more stairs it looks like a lot more than what it really is so the usu is four i can't remember if it's four levels or five four it's four the bottom floor has the commuter lounge and the elevators and some lockers the second floor is basically nothing except for one or two offices for student organizations and um and some bathrooms this is the second level i think that's like student government and then the third level has the multicultural multi-ethnic ones and this is their outdoor lounge there is also the gender equity center the latino center and the pride center and those are so much fun i've been to all of them except for the multi-ethnic and black student center um i am particularly fond of the gender equity center they have food fridge coffee microwaves um seating couches bean bags where you can nap they have free like female sanitary products it's really great um i also really like the latino center they have a bunch of like gaming and stuff and they also have a kitchen area computers printing that's really really helpful love them shout out to them um and they have a tv and they play i think good movies and we've almost made it to the top of the stairs and oh look it's caesar chavez so when you finally get to the top of the stairs on your way to class if you have a test you rub the book for good luck book? the book i think it's helped me once or twice and this is the dedication plaque and then at his feet it says si se puede and then in english it can be done um and this is him people take pictures with him all the time i have one picture with him from when i did my campus tour and when i came to orientation and you can see right here where it's worn out from people rubbing the book for good luck but for some good luck and you should be go good to go on your next test anyways this is the top of the stairs of travis circle and all the way 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 down there where my finger is are the dorm where the welcome to csusm sign is is the uva and that is more traditional apartment style housing there is jose sitting and almost falling the uva is more traditional um, apartment style housing and the one next to it behind it is the quad um, and that one is a little bit more fancy it's the newer ones i wanted to live on campus my first year and now i don't um it really depends on your style and what kind of person you are whether you want to live at the uva or at the quad um some people who live in the quad say that it's the very best and it's super nice and they love it and then some people say they hate it and that it's too modern and they want something that feels a little bit more homey and vice versa it really is just a preference 
Um, of course, each one thinks that it's better than the other. I don't really see that big a difference and other than like the outside and the very superficial things. But the quality of living is about the same. Um, it's really not that big of a deal. It is really expensive. A lot of people only live on campus their first year and then they decide to room outside of campus uh, on their own in their own apartments and a house, whatever it may be. Um, so it's usually just gonna be a bunch of freshmen living in the dorms. This is mostly a commuter campus, so people who go to the school are usually um, people who live in outside towns and are coming here because it is one of the closest universities. Um, so I am a commuter. I live like 45 minutes away and I come to school twice a week. I'm gonna be coming to the campus twice a week. I'm very happy about that. Last semester I had to come every day and that was a really, really, really big struggle. So I'm really happy I was able to work out my schedule and I only have to come two days a week. Woohoo! Real quick before we head back to our car, because we have like 20 minutes left on the parking meter. Um, I just wanna say, I think this is a really, really nice school. Um, it is not a very fancy school. It, it keeps it very simple, but the quality of it is really good. So if you are a person who just wants to come to school because you wanna get an education, this is definitely a school for you. If you're the type of person who wants that more classic college ambiance, college experience of like, joining a frat and a sorority and partying, um, living in, in a dorm, um, you know, living in like a college town atmosphere, then this isn't the school for you. And I feel like people who don't like CSUSM are people who wanted that and didn't get it. And they blame the school for it other than like doing their research beforehand. But overall, for the quality of the school, for the quality of learning, the professors are super nice. They genuinely care. They are invested. They want to help you out. Um, I really genuinely love that. Once you're here, once you're taking classes, it's a lot of fun. The campus is not too big, but it's also not itty bitty. It is a, a little bit on the smaller side, but I personally like it because there are so many, so many stairs that you have to go through that if this campus was any bigger, I would, I would die. There is not much more I can say about the school except that I think it's great. And if you genuinely value an education and you care more about your learning environment and learning experience than going out partying, doing all of that other more classic college stuff, then this is a good school. Um, there's still that, you just have to know where to look. But I tend to stay away from it because it's not really my thing. Um, there's lots of little details that you should take into consideration when picking a school, but San Marcos is a good one, so I, I would recommend it. Would you recommend this school? What? Would you recommend this school? Yeah. There you go. It's a good school. Come check it out. You want to say bye? Bye. That's as deep as you'll get. All right, that's all we got. Bye, friends.